Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to compare Miro with Miro. Now, before we start, I have a request for you. If you could share your own opinion, your own view on Miro or Miro, if so other people when they come to watch this video, they will see other point of view and they can actually decide uh, which one they want to use. Now the huge advantage is that both uh, you can test for free, you don't have to pay any money to test a Miro or Miro. With a Miro you're gonna have free dashboards and with a Miro you're gonna have 30 day trial. So that's really good. And now let's start comparing. So definitely share your opinion. Miro is from the UX and UI perspective much better. That's what I think. I really enjoy working with Miro much more comparing to working with a Miro. That's my perspective only because the design, the layout and everything is much prettier. But Miro is missing one thing that a mural has as is that it's called like summon. Summon is where the presenter who is presenting uh, like everything can force all the participants to the same view that she or he is looking at. And this is a huge thing Mural has comparing to Miro. So if you need something like this, you need to definitely use Miro. When you come here, what does it mean? Is let's say that I would be presenting uh, like this mind map here. And what other people can do is actually just go here and still watch this. What I can force them to do to be focused, I can show them only this and they can't move to see other things. So sometimes it can be really effective and really great. So that's pretty good and that's something you can do. Now, when we compare, uh, let's go to the pricing plans, then we go to the templates and I'm going to show you what you can actually do uh, in both. When we compare pricing plans, they are both all right. Yes, Mural is a little bit more pricey, uh, but when we compare the teams, like $8 month build annually or $10 per member month build monthly, here is 12 bucks per membership month build annually you see it right here so those like they're not so different yes few bucks here and there but my recommendation is that actually test both tools by yourself and see what suits you and which one you like more now so this is a miro and miro miro is a little bit more cheaper but miro is more expensive now but just by a little bit uh, when we go further and when we go on to compare templates I like the design and everything of templates if in Miro more comparing to the Miro. So when we compare to the Miro, I can click templates here and I get to see plenty of templates that I can use in Miro. And I'm not paid by Miro guys, this is just my opinion. Here in Miro, okay, we get to see plenty of templates to brainstorm. We can go agile or flowchart. And we see workflow diagram, data flow, flow process flowchart. Here, look at this. I come here, <clears throat> come here and write flowchart. And I gotta see five flowcharts that you can that I can use. And there is a one thing that Miro has that if you would scroll down below, you can go to the Miro Wars and explore other people and their templates they created. So I can come here and go to brainstorming and I gotta see all those templates that other people have actually created that I can use. Future design workshop, I can click on it and I can simply use the template. And this is a huge thing that I like and this is a huge thumbs up that I see. And therefore I think from the template perspective, Miro is winning only because the Miro wars where you can have community and which are actually creating uh, various templates that you can use for your business or for your projects, presentation, whatever. Now, when we go further uh, to the, like, let's say sticky notes, what I like is that you can have in Miro, in, in sort of Miro, you can have like really good organized sticky notes comparing to the Miro. So that's like really great uh, thing about Miro. Another thing is that with Miro, they have really nice feature book add sticky notes and I can add one to three and I can add a book add. So if I would like to uh, do it, I can just add in book add notes, right? So that's something you can definitely do. And that's something 
you can create. Let's go further. So, <clears throat> Moral has something like also framework feature, which allows you to add template backgrounds for workshop exercises, including grids, quadrants, and both ideograms. So, that's like really great thing. You see it right here. Like those frameworks are pretty good if you need those. And uh, that's something you can do. But Miro templates and everything is just like more Polish. So Miro has also cards as well as sticky notes, which are a bit more flexible and lend themselves to agile workshop and some user journey mapping. So that's pretty good. And now, like again, as I mentioned, blog mode, I can go one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, and look at this, this is a huge thing. And click done. And voila, look at this. And they are in the like in some kind of section, right? So this is how you can add those sticky notes, which is pretty good. Now to go further uh, to the layout tools, Miro has a clear guides and grids. They got also a better range of typefaces, so that's good. Now, when we go further, a Miller text management is somewhat unintuitive. So what you can actually do with the text, and as you can see, like even when you see it by yourself, is that like it's really not that intuitive comparing to Miro. Now, and look, another thing is that uh, when you want to like let, let me show you if i'm going to have a shape here like this to make it bigger whatever i can really move it whatever right how i how i want it I can rotate it etc pretty simple in mirror when i come here to the mural it's a little bit and i need to move it like here so you choose which one you like more uh when you want to Like choose it and play around it. I like Miro more. Now, presenting as I mentioned, the mural has the summon mode. Um, so when you want to focus everyone on just one thing, they need to watch it. That's really good. Now Miro has a screen share mode to ensure that everyone is looking at the right place on the board. The participants do need to actively click to join our to opt in. So that's another thing. Then we have uh, like another thing, which are the apps. And you can actually connect multiple apps with get more apps. You can have like plenty of integrations with Miro. And you can have like more, more integrations comparing to the Mural. That's another thing. And now, the last thing I'm going to compare is that the interface. When we come here and see is the Miro has a very nice Crips Fresh interface. You can see it by yourself comparing it to Merle. Now, when we go even further, uh, they got both good like shortcuts on the left Miro got the left button for the presenter here. <clears throat> Where you can like see comments and everything in mural you're gonna see it on top top right so that's the thing which is going to be different also the menu and everything is just much clearer comparing to the um, mural that's another thing and that's pretty much it like there's not so much to choose between these apps and I would definitely choose Miro if I will be starting out, not from the templates perspective, but the way you can present your things, how you can edit things, how you can choose the, it's just much prettier and much easier to use. And if you're going to collaborate with someone and they're going to use Miro, I think they will be much easier for them to use it comparing to Miro. So that's what I think. And that's what I believe in. So thank you very much guys for watching. If you're going to have any questions, ask me down in the comments. And definitely share your own ideas, your own views on Mural and Murals. I'll be pretty excited to hear those. So you know how it goes, you know how it is. And yeah. Thank you very much and have a great day. And goodbye.